With the recent surge in Turkey's defense industry, it has elevated itself to the level of producing its own weapons and defense equipment. Examples of this include the Atak helicopter, Hürkush, and Hürjet projects, all of which were highly successful endeavors by the Turkish aerospace industries, TUSAK. The latest project, the Hürjet, has completed its development and successfully initiated test flights. Serial production of the Hürjet has begun with an initial delivery of 20 units to the Turkish Air Force. The aircraft's armament phase is currently underway. Let's turn to a secret project initiated by Turkey five years ago. The project was kept confidential from the beginning and all developments were done using domestic capabilities. Except for certain components, the project is entirely domestic, representing Turkey's most modern project developed by TUSASH after the Atak helicopter. It is a fifth-generation combat aircraft named TFX Kayan, entirely the work of Turkish engineers. While the aircraft may initially appear like a model made for science fiction movies, this feature provides significant advantages. The external surface of the National Fighter aircraft is made of smooth titanium material, making it invisible in the air. The aircraft has successfully passed visibility tests conducted on the ground, and improved effectiveness is expected in the air. The cockpit window is likely to be covered with a black film to enhance invisibility. When Khan begins its flights, it will fly completely invisibly in the air, resembling a ghost, with not a single bolt visible on its surface. It is highly probable that the body is assembled from titanium materials from the inside, providing an advantage in surface smoothness. The technology of the fifth-generation Kayan combat aircraft is entirely developed by Turkish programmers. Thousands of programmers are creating different software lines for the combat aircraft. Unfortunately, images related to these software programs have not been shared to maintain confidentiality. The software is individually written and transferred to the computer in the Kayan cockpit. The data on the aircraft's computer is designed to be present in the pilot's state-of-the-art helmet. This system provides the pilot with the ability to target and see 360 degrees with the helmet. One of the features of the Khan Combat Aircraft is the placement of its AESA radar in the nose. This radar scans enemy movements within a radius of 1 by 100 kilometers, decrypts encrypted radio conversations of the enemy, and transmits the information to the pilot's helmet. With this radar, ground targets can be easily identified and accurate shots can be made. If enemy radars detect the AESA radar of the Khan combat aircraft, the aircraft can fly blind by shutting down communication and radars. During this flight, relying on Aselsan's infrared air and ground radars, the aircraft can fly safely. The infrared radar in the nose detects the positions of enemy aircraft threatening the aircraft in the air, while the infrared radar on the lower body scans and detects ground targets, enabling accurate shooting. The maximum altitude the combat aircraft can reach is 55,000 feet. The combat systems of the CAN combat aircraft, like fifth-generation combat aircraft, will be directly linked to the helmet. The systems are designed to be used according to the pilot's preferences. Bombs and air-to-air -air missiles will not be externally deployed on the outer body of the aircraft. The aircraft's weapons will be designed hidden in internal compartments. This way, the aircraft's stealth is preserved, allowing it to fly in full ghost mode. The wings of the combat aircraft are designed for dynamic movement and easy sharp turns. The first taxi of the Kayon combat aircraft took place on 1803-2923 at the Tusash facilities. The first test flight of the aircraft is expected to take place at the end of 2023. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications and like my video.